Utah National Guard and UHP troopers are now headed to the southern border. Governor Cox announcing today his decision to send them to Texas. Brian Malahi live at the Capitol. Brian, uh, this will not be an overwhelming show of force from the state of Utah. That is true. You can count who's going on two hands. This decision announced today comes days after Governor Cox visited the southern border in Texas, came away saying that illegal immigration is unsustainable. And just a couple of days after we began asking questions on whether the governor would commit troops or resources. I talked to Speaker Mike Schultz about it today. Other governors have sent many more people to the border. Is yeah. 10 from Utah enough? Well, there's options to send more with the governor, and we can certainly look and send more. I think that's a great number to start with. It shows that we're there to support. Uh, if there's an additional ask from Governor Abbott, I'm confident that Governor Cox would consider it. The speaker says he was there when Texas Governor Greg Abbott asked for help, telling other governors, including Governor Cox, send what you can. Utah says it has sent more than 200 Guard members to the border for various reasons in recent years. Utah deployments start on February 26th. They go for 30 days. Cost estimate $150,000 to be paid from the Governor's Office Emergency Fund. Live at the Capitol, Brian Malahi, KUTV2 News.